Hi, in this video we will have a look at how to update a SharePoint choice column using SharePoint REST API. So let me edit this record and show you the column. So the sports is my column and here this is a single single select choice column it is yeah so the plan is update from badminton to rugby or cricket yeah okay let's go back to flow now so for this i'm going to use the sharepoint connector and um, using send and http request to sharepoint there are different ways you can update there is an update item also there so this video i'm focusing on how to update using the rust api so for this i'm going to use the method as the post then the URI I need to use here is API under slash web slash list slash get by title the list name which is students then the record we want to update so I know my record ID is number five so if I take you back here, I can see, see number five there. If you don't know the ID, then you need to use the get items to find the ID and map the ID here dynamically. Okay. The next thing we need to do use here is the headers. So the header I'm going to use here is accept. Application slash JSON semicolon. or data equals verbose then we need an if match that is star and another one we need is x hyphen http hyphen method which is merge and then the body we need to use here so two curly brackets then the column name which is called the sports then the value I want to update so I'm going to put rugby here here it is so remember currently the value is bandbinden here yeah so let's save this flow and uh, run it Okay, looks like flow ran successfully. So let's go back to the list. I'm going to refresh this page and see the sports ch change the value from badminton to rugby. So this is a technique we need to use here to update the single choice column using Rust API. So in the body, we need to give the column name, then the value, then you need these headers and also the URI endpoint is underscore API slash web slash list slash get by title then the list name that is students then the items bracket the numeric ID which is number five in my case it is five here so that's the ID you need to give here for the update hope this is useful thank you for watching